New patch. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Educated Call Snap channel. How you doing? So we do have the new patch today, and we also have confirmation about the spotlight ch uh, system changes and uh, how it works. Fortunately, for the people that um, did watch my previous video, how to optimize that strategy does work here. So you can actually kind of double dip and get um, rewards your your current rewards for the tokens and gold, and then just not open those spotlight reserve levels and then update and then get spotlight reserve. So that's pretty cool. We're going to mostly be talked about the spotlight openings, but then we'll also talk about the balance changes at the end. But I, I think um, the spotlight openings are a little bit more important. So I'm, I want to try to kind of do a how to if you if you were waiting. You know, I, I'd be surprised if you're still waiting, but because I'm a little bit late with the video, but generally I uh, still want to do that. And here, here we do have the Discord, but that's not really the most important thing. Here we do have my account and my levels. And they did, uh, or well, a person on Reddit, uh, Griffador, frat bro, <laughs> did have a, a, a showcase about the, uh, the levels where the spotlight caches will show up they're going to show up at 1090 and every 120 level afterwards so that's going to be pretty easy to track and they did kind of give us a little bit of a, a visual indicator of exactly where the spots are so if you kind of need that um, this is also something you can use to kind of showcase oh where exactly where the spots are so you could definitely like take a look but once you get into the rhythm it should be pretty easy to know exactly where you're at. So if we're going to look at my account uh, here, I still haven't done anything yet, haven't updated or opened any of my boxes. So we're, I'm just going to show it here to kind of give you a guide of what to do. So if you can see here, my level is uh, 5,748, 5, right? So that's that's not exactly a spotlight cash box, but if you look here, 5,770 is where the, the cache is supposed to appear. So that's gonna be right here. So there should be a spotlight cache right here, but I don't have access to that right now. But it means that all the boxes downwards until I get to 5,650 are not gonna be spotlight caches, so they're free to open. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing right now. We're gonna be opening up those until we get to five, um, five, six fifty. So we can get some variants and all that stuff. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to actually, um, I'm not going to edit it, right? You're going to see the rewards and stuff like that. So I, I guess, I guess that would be helpful. Obviously I need to, I I'm just looking closely to make sure I don't, um, open the wrong box. Right. So that's five, six fifty that we'll be looking at here. So should be this box right here. So this box we don't open. So that is a spotlight reserve box here. If you take a look, right. Um, so that is a box we do not open, but we can open the rest of them. So that's, that's the really cool thing here. Uh, please don't be angry if you don't get to, you know, <laughs> if you don't use the system, um, that's not the intention here. And obviously, I'm sure Second Dinner doesn't want um, people to be angry that you can do this. Like, I was kind of worried that um, this would not be available at all because, you know, they took an extra day. I thought maybe they were using the extra day to kind of kick everyone out or add a, add a fail safe or anything like that. But does not look like that was the case, fortunately for us. So... Once again, spotlight reserve box here. Next one should be 410. So, I mean, you can just do math mentally, but I like the screen isn't super big on PC, so I'm just making sure that um I'm not accidentally clicking. I could also just like count to 10. Maybe that would be simpler <laughs> or count, to, you know what I mean? But um once again, here's another one, so uh we just keep keep up the pressure but we should be getting some good rewards here we're getting good tokens 
good value. Um, and then we should be able to switch and still get the spotlight caches in the right spot. So definitely an interesting video here. This is um, basically, fundamentally, it's an unboxing video. But the idea is to, to showcase how to do it. But I'm just opening boxes at this point. How are you guys doing, guys? You guys okay? I hope you guys are not too sad, not too bad. I think that's like the, in terms of the, the system itself, I just think they need to commit to making sure that the Series 4, Series 5 pool doesn't get too large because that could definitely um, not feel great. But, the, you know, the system is there to keep, make them profits, right? So, uh, and it, it can do that really well uh, if people do want their, the variants and, and whatnot. So next up is 550. Yeah, so there's some boxes that I, I haven't opened. Yeah, so where's 550? Um, here, right? So I, I opened this like years ago. I just, I just forgot to open these. Uh, and I started right here. So this is a little bit unlucky for me. I'm going to be missing a box, but I think it's fine. You know, like I, I didn't know the system was opening. I just like sometimes randomly arbitrarily leave caches, you know, <laughs> I didn't care because it wasn't giving me anything. But unfortunately for me, right, like it would have been great if I didn't hit this one, but whatever. So I can't open these. So we're still going to continue to do that just kind of unlucky a little unlucky but i still think overall it's still relatively good for me so next up we're at 4 49 30 hey it's a no variant ha 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 great okay we got stegron not that i'm gonna use it but it's there uh, don't tell me i okay 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 we 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 at least have four forty nine thirty I was worried that i <laughs> I opened that one accidentally too not not like not intentionally, but just like, oh yeah, I guess you opened that one as well, like <laughs> would have sucked um, so it should be forty eight ten. Should be the next one. Oh, and all right. So once again, um, my arbitrary openings did not benefit me. So yeah, here's another one, spotlight cash box that I unfortunately just opened. Once again, you know, sometimes I was just saving caches for no particular reason. So you know, it could have. I could have definitely high road. Yeah, you see, here's another section I just didn't open. Maybe I just forgot about it. I wonder if it does fit. So that one's for 42070. Um, 410 is where the spotlight would, should be. So the spotlight should be here. So unfortunately, this is not part of the spotlight. That would have been great, right? So it's like, Collins, you're so lucky. <laughs> but I am not lucky in this, uh, in this scenario here. But essentially, um, we can open these up. So that I believe that is all the random caches that I just sent randomly saved. So um, we should have the ones that I didn't open, once I update should remain uh, spotlight caches. So that's something we're going to have to test out here. I do have more credits. That is true. That is a good point. I do have more credits from opening the caches. So I can upgrade a little bit and get to the not the next spotlight, right? So the next spotlight is going to be right here. So I can open up this one. I can open up this one um, for free. So we're just going to do some upgrades real quick. Welcome to my poorly disguised unboxing. Uh, <laughs> unboxing video, apparently. But I mean, I'm just kind of showcasing exactly where it needs to be so you can find this the numbers exactly on reddit but it's basically 120 every 120 from 1090 so that's the um that's the simplistic way of looking at it so once again that that box we cannot open here 
this one in particular is a spotlight so we will not be opening that one but we should be able to open the next ones if we get there so definitely just going to upgrade the bishop i'm not like a particular bishop stand like i don't care about the variants but it's in front of me and i don't really want to waste too much time looking for the perfect <laughs> the perfect card to upgrade <laughs> or anything like that Sam. It is nice that this does work. I was I was definitely surprised. <laughs> like I I know I suggested it, but you know, I thought uh, I I wasn't fully confident in in it actually working. So we should be able to open this one and this one as well. So. You do get to double dip a bit, right? And and that really does help init at least initially mitigate the downsides, right? Because you're not getting any downsides now. Like we got Stegron um, for free, not for free, but we got Stegron as well. And we just get some extra uh, rewards to go on top of the system, right? The system giving you extra cards. So, so as long as we are avoiding the 70 which is this one, we can open up, we can get the credits, we can open up the reserves, some, you yeah, know, extra 500. So it, it's interesting because once the, the system changes, you're only going to be getting like 50, right? So you're going to be getting significantly less, um, significantly less tokens. So it's definitely a good idea to take advantage of it while you can. And hopefully I don't post this too late, so... Um, so people like forget or something that would be disappointing. Um, but like overall, like the system, you know, you're still like, if you don't have all the cards, it, you're still getting a good reward. So don't be too sad. I don't want people to just complain. Like I, I know it's going to happen, but I, I, I would hope that my, the comment section is a nonstop. Oh my God. I missed out on this. <laughs> You know, um, that would be a little bit disappointing. But yeah. So 5890 is the next one, which is like all the way up here. So I'm not going to get close to that. I think I'm pretty happy with the setup we have. So yeah, we opened up a lot of the reserves and now we can uh, actually update, right? We can quit the game, update the game, and... Um, take a look at that so while we're doing that let's take a look at the discord here so we can actually now take a look at some of the the changes and then we'll go back into the game once it's updated and go from there so Here we do have this, the, the updates and then the premium receive variants and then the daily offer rewards. Um, when you make 10 purchases in the daily offer shop, you'll now be rewarded with a bonus 2,000 collector's tokens and one premium mystery variant. So they're trying to encourage you to buy tokens. I mean, buy variants. I don't really see the appeal of that. So not for any progression focused player that's not helpful uh don't don't be baited i guess um new art new balance updates so yeah so high evolutionary this is definitely a big card to adjust um we think they still pr prove each, if even if each of them it can still yeah okay so they're shaving off power. Evolved Wasp is losing. Okay, so it's going from two random to one. So it's losing a power. Um, yeah, I, and especially with Lockjaw, it's crazy. I agree. Um, she's winning more cubes overall than any other high evolutionary card. Wow. So she's the best. Hulk is Hulk is fake news. Wasp is the best. That makes sense to me, actually. But you're al you're also playing Wasp and Hulk together. But it does make sense that Wasp is like so strong, especially when it's played. Evolved Hulk. Um, 
strongest there is ever given the bug where the last turn doesn't count. This adjustment will remove that issue and reduce the average power of Hulk. So now, well, this is interesting. So now if you don't, if it's not on play or in your hand, it's not going to gain power. So it has to be either in play or in your hand for it to gain power. So though that means like the first two turns, if you don't start with Hulk, you're not getting that plus four power, which is so big for Lockjaw deck. So this is a big nerf for Lockjaw. Um, it's all, all high evolutionary decks, but especially Lockjaw. So my suggestion was to make it like plus one power and buff the base stats. But they, they kind of did that, essentially. There is the high roll potential if you have Hulk in your hand turn one. But in a lot of games, you're losing four power, which is, you know, how much I was, like, assess, uh, analyzing. So this is a pretty interesting change. It's also really bad for Lockjaw because Lockjaw decks, they pop off turn three. And then turn four... They, you know, they might pop off, right? But usually they play Jubilee. So, like, you can actually just get a 12 power Hulk in Lockjaw, evolve Lockjaw. So, that's a pretty big nerf. So, this is actually meaningful. Pretty meaningful. Um, so, pretty, pretty cool. And then Gambit is getting a plus two power buff. That's interesting because I think Gambit can be really strong. So, this might make you try out Gambit more. Because now it's, now, I mean, if you destroy, like, four power, it's a 3-7, right? You just need to destroy four power, and you can easily do that, so. This seems meaningful, like, you might see more. The, the issue with destroy right now is Spider-Ham wrecks it really badly, but um, if you are playing, like, an infinite variant of discard, you can definitely get away with running more Gambit, right? I think this becomes a more... Um, auto slaughter in the discard decks comparative to like um you know moon knight and and uh sword sword master those type of cards so this is a meaningful buff obviously it's a nerf for the negative gambit but once again that was kind of a meme so i i don't mind it no mind losing out on that to make it better overall or stronger overall um Mystique is getting, this is a buff, right? Now triggers on reveal. Okay. Okay, so this is, um, this is a buff. It, it's a small buff, but it's a buff for, um, for Mystique, okay. I think most like unless your on reveals are bad, it's it should be a buff. Nakia is getting an adjustment, right? So it gives all cards in your hand plus one power, but you're also getting an extra power in the base stats. Um, I'm fine with this because Nakia isn't played, so any change is probably a good change. So I'm 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 fine with this. Um, okay. And then text only updates, so these don't do anything. Black Bolt, Cat, Bucky, Cerebro, Doctor Strange, Craven. So these are these don't do anything. And some bug fixes. So overall, um, they hit high evolutionary. They didn't hit um, bounce, which I think it probably means that bounce wasn't showing up in their data until later. And now they are going to have to wait until the OTA to change it, right? Because because usually these these patches are like time in advance, right? So um, people were playing tons of High Evolutionary and then over time, people started playing Kitty to counter that. And I guess by the time they, they, they had finalized this patch, um, their data didn't show Kitty, but probably it shows Kitty now. So we're probably gonna have to wait until the OTA or something, but that, that would be my thoughts there. Okay, all right, which that should be good. Overall, I mean, they, they, they changed High Evolutionary, which was the most important, but they, they didn't really change anything else. I would say that's super meaningful. Like Nakia 
Gambit, Mystique, like that's not really giving you like a new deck to play. So um, generally okay. But let's go back to um, a snap and then see if we finally have the update. We have the Spotlight Caches, that kind of thing. So do 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 do. So here it looks like we should have updated. Yeah, now we have this thing at the top. And now let's, um, well, I, I'm going to have to, well, I, 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 okay, let me see. So if I go to 1090, it shows them Baku, but let's just, um, open something. Can I upgrade anything here? I can upgrade Nick Fury. So yeah, see here we see it right. We see the spotlight cast here, and if we go down, we'll see it here, and if we go down, we'll see it here. So you can see that it did work, right? The um, we did get access to the tokens, the gold, everything, but we also still get the spotlight caches. So this is definitely something nice. Um, it looks like I got five of them, so that's pretty good. Maybe six of them. Um, so that's pretty good. We did get unlucky, right? We missed out on a couple of them, but generally I'm still pretty happy, especially since we did get to double dip a little bit. So, um, do I want Jean Grey? I guess I do. So I will, I will get it here, but, um, yeah. Living Tribunal, I do not have. So that's okay as well. The null variant, I mean, whatever. I don't care. We got silk, which I do not have. Okay. Cool. So I, I did have to use four. So that is a little bit unlucky. I did have to use all four, but I did end up getting the card. So, and, and I got, I got two extra cards, right? So I got, um, I got Silk, plus I got the Living Tribunal. So obviously I don't care about this at all, so I'm not gonna be getting these, but um, decent rewards, right? So um, that is the system, it does work. As long as you haven't updated yet, you can do this. So hopefully I'm not too late. Um, obviously I started recording an hour and a half after it was out and usually by that time some people have already like you know they've already updated so i'm sorry if i was too late um unfortunately maybe i should have been on top of things and posted it an hour and a half ago and that maybe would have helped people so um sorry about that i was kind of waiting but i just got distracted so that's my bad but anyways that is the update hopefully this helps you do it yourself uh main thing to keep in mind is 110 and every 120 afterwards and hope you guys enjoy this video sorry take care and have a wonderful rest of your day once you watch him you won't go back he'll teach you tomorrow snap your skills will be improved